Welcome back to Shoot Retro. I am Hunter, and if you're just getting here for the first time, welcome to my little corner of the internet where I talk about film, film cameras, go out, shoot film, take pictures, and then make videos about it. Just like every other film YouTuber out there. Today's video, we are going to be diving into a camera that I was very, very excited to get because I got a great deal on it, but it needs some work. That would be my Polaroid SX70. The SX70, is just one of the best looking cameras aesthetically pleasing cameras i could imagine just one of those cameras that i saw people using online and i just needed it not not for the quality of the image because that's not even the point uh just for its design i have been running into so many issues with mine i initially bought it on ebay untested for about 40 dollars, and it turns on but it stays on and i can't get it to stop so I've been doing a little bit of research as to what's causing this to happen. And apparently something broke off inside the motor in the back of the camera. So in this video, I'm gonna do my best, cause I'm not a technician. I'm gonna do my best to get inside this camera and fix the issues that are causing this to happen. So then I can make a video about shooting on the SX-70, which was the whole point in buying it. If this is your first time here, welcome, stick around, subscribe, and Give me a like on this video. If I fix the damn thing, you know, don't like the video if I don't fix it, then then I'm not doing my job right. So, all right, yeah, let's let's dive into this. All right, everybody. Uh, it's been a little bit since I started recording this video a few weeks ago. Um, when I was recording this video a few weeks ago, I wasn't exactly sure on how I was gonna go about fixing my SX-70, um, but I've fixed it and I kind of wanted to take the opportunity to show you exactly how to fix this issue with like a high, higher quality video behind it. So when these things break in the way mine did, I found that online I could not find literally anywhere which screwdriver you should be buying to fix these or at least gain access to the, in, uh, the internals of the camera. So I was having issues with that and then I was also having issues with finding just like high quality images of what the inside of one of these cameras looks like and what you should be messing with. So that being said, um, I just wanna show you guys everything that I did in the meantime to actually get this thing fixed and working again. Let's start back over with the issue with what went wrong in this camera. In the back of the camera here, there's a motor and on the motor, there's a spring and the spring connects to all the different gears and stuff that you know help drive the camera. The issue I was having was I would insert a cartridge, a Polaroid cartridge into the camera, close it, and then the motor would just run endlessly. The motor in these cameras does this when it's not connected to all the gears. Uh, so basically the camera does not know when to stop. It just detects that there's a power source in the camera and it just runs and runs and runs and runs and runs and that's it, it won't stop. So yeah, it can be pretty intimidating when you run into the issue. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, my camera is very uh, messed up at the moment. That's because when these motors go out, um, you have to do some digging, quite literally. So the bottom of this camera is usually covered with like leather uh, as part of like the facade um, on the camera itself. On the, beneath that leather is the screws that you need to remove to gain access to the internal components of the camera. Huge pain in the ass. Now, it is a huge pain in the ass because the glue that holds that leather down is ridiculously strong. I've spent like in half hour increments just going at this thing to peel away the leather because it is just so glued down. And the problem is it's also some really tacky stuff too. So like once you scrape off, scrape off the leather, you still have a lot of um, like glue remnants on the bottom of the camera. So I still have to kind of figure out how I'm gonna be removing all that stuff. So when I go to reskin the camera, you know, I don't have to worry about all the old glue that's on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this camera and show you the fix that um, I implemented. I just realized that before I go and do that, I should probably tell you how I'm gonna be opening up this camera. So these, this is a size T3 Torx screwdriver. For the longest time, I would prowl the comment sections of all these repair videos, the descriptions, and nobody would have an answer as to how to open up the bottom of these cameras. Now, you're gonna notice I have two of them here. As you're like removing the leather from this camera, 
What I ran into was I had a lot of the glue was stuck in the heads of the screws. This became a pretty big problem because what happened was I would start digging at it with the screwdriver and I was actually stripping the screw. So I know at least one of these screws actually requires a size T4 because of the damage I did to it really trying to get it off of there with the size three. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this top off and we'll take a look at the internals of the SX-70. When I was taking this camera apart before, I actually popped it open and I even took off, there's a little dust cover here that covers like the drivetrain of the camera itself. That's a really easy thing to remove. You do have to just gently, as I just like rip it off, but more gently than that, lift and remove that um, and set it off to the side. Um, I don't know if that's actually necessary, but I noticed last time I took it apart, when I removed it, it made gaining access to the back of the camera much easier. Once you do that, go ahead and just close the camera like you normally would, and boom, we are now looking at the back of your Polaroid SX-70. Right here in the middle, this is your drive motor. Um, I don't know if any of you owned X-Mods as a kid, um, but the moment I saw this, it reminded me instantly of the little motors you would get with your X mod RC car. So now we're looking at the direct back of your Polaroid. So this is the bottom of your camera. So this is the front of the camera. You just flip it right over the top and we're now looking at the motor. In the SX-70, the repair you're about to do is occurring right here. So we're gonna rotate this up, take a look. You'll notice right here, there's a long bar connecting this motor to this bracket. I don't even know if that's the right word for that, but I'm gonna call it like a coupler. Well, buried beneath these two things right here is actually the spring we need to gain access to. So I'm just gonna rotate this so you can see it. Okay, so we are zoomed way in on the SX-70. So you'll notice on the motor itself, there's a spring on that motor. When this SX-70 is not broken, that spring connects to a plastic coupler that is on this right here. We get the torque screwdriver on it right there. This rod, right? This rod then drives this whole gear system, which runs up all the whole side of your camera, all the way to the front where you have all your film. And when that connection is broken, this motor just spins endlessly because these two things are no longer connected. So the fix that I've watched a few people do online, albeit it was very difficult to follow along, was you take the spring that runs from the motor and you stretch it long enough so that the spring actually slides into where the coupler used to be. There's a few things I have to say about this. You'll notice that it's a little sketchy. This is not, in my opinion, a permanent fix. I totally could see this popping off if like you're throwing the camera around in and out of a bag. Um, so there's gonna be ways we prevent this from being a difficult thing in the future. Essentially, to summarize, you're going to stretch that spring that runs out of the motor so that it is long enough now to reach and slot into that little slit on the coupler right here. Um, one thing to note, I had to remove this spring right here. It's like a J hook. It was very easy. All I did was I took some tweezers. You take the tweezers, you pop it off, um, and it gives you a little bit more room to reach in and grab the spring that runs from the motor to the gear train right there. Now you know how to do the fix. Um, but, you gotta think, we're putting this cover back on the camera. Then we're gonna reskin the camera. What happens if that spring comes off again? So, this I haven't enacted this fix yet, um, but it's definitely going to happen. I'm obviously gonna put the cover back on the camera as normal, and then I'm gonna screw everything down. But when I get that new piece of leather, I'm going to have to measure out exactly where on that leather, these screw holes are on the bot on the underside of the camera. So I don't have to remove the leather the next time I have to gain access to the inside of the camera, which like I said, I could totally see it happening. It's not really a permanent fix. Um, it's just 
uh, fix that happens to work. I have no idea why they decided to use this tiny, tiny piece of plastic to connect to very important parts of the camera, but um, it's also from built in the 70s. So it's a very, very old piece of plastic and it's probably just with age weakened quite a bit. So I'm gonna get this camera back together and we'll probably wrap it up for this part of the video here. Um, the next time we talk about the SX70, um, I'm probably going to be diving into a little bit more of like the restoration, how to remove the glue once I kind of figure out how to do that myself. Um, and then kind of turning that all into the second half of this video. So if you made it this far, thanks for sticking around uh, and watching Shoot Retro. Shoot Retro is just a space for film. And I would love it if you liked the video and subscribed. Um, I try to put out as much content as I can. Um, regarding film photography. Um, I do it professionally and is also kind of just a hobby of mine. This is something I love to do. So if you want to stick around, hang out uh, for some future videos and watch me fix up this XX, SX70 and give it a new life, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. So I'll see you guys next time.